Hello, Colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We start with our new sporting director, Deco, of course, who was officially announced yesterday as the new director for Barca. In a recent interview, he discusses on the Barca squad and what needs to improve. We are going to discuss on that as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about Joao Cancelo, as Barca are at risk, as it has just been reported that a Saudi Arabian club are inching closer to Joao Cancelo, as Barcelona have been slagging off the deal for a long time. We are also going to discuss about that. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Speaking to the club media after his official announcement as the new sporting director of FC Barcelona, Deco has claimed that they have a spectacular squad in place you know, Deco was confirmed as the sporting director at Barca earlier yesterday, even though he had already been performing all the duties that a sporting director should perform prior to yesterday. And so the former Barca midfielder believes that the club already have a great squad in place, which can have achieved the success in the years to come. Going by his words, he said, we have a spectacular squad with young players, we have a future and we have a presence. Last year we won the league, which was so good, and we have to continue on this path and so keep working hard, he said. The 45-year-old Deco spent considerable time at the Catalan club as a player and expressed his delight at returning to the team, he said. Coming back to this club is something so beautiful for me. As a kid, I dreamed of playing football. I dreamed of playing here and fulfill my dreams by being here as a player. I have been part of the club's history and now I am returning with an important role, which I think is very important for me. Looking forward to his role and the responsibilities that comes with it, he said, I know the size of this club and the work that is involved in and I'm so happy with the president's project from the beginning. I have been helping a lot from the outside and now I would do it officially on a day-to-day -day basis and that's why I'm so happy. Barca is a club that always generates the work, he said. Along with the former Portuguese international's appointment, Barca also announced that Matteo Alemani will be leaving the club once the transfer window closes on September 2nd. Horror. Yesterday was you know, a big day for Barca as news person director Deco was officially announced. And of course, Deco has been so hardworking and I really appreciate the fact that he has been putting all his efforts to ensure that Barcelona get the best. Barcelona prevails you know, in the upcoming season. Deco assumed the role some months back, um, but he was not officially announced. So yesterday was when he was officially known as Barca's new sporting director and of course he obviously you expect him to be asked a lot of questions by the media and he answered it of course talking about the squad you know from his words he seems very optimistic that you know he would do a great job with this team and of course by saying that the team or the squad is spectacular and trying to follow the path win trophies last season we won La Liga we won the Spanish Super Cup and of course trying to ensure that by his efforts bringing in the players um, Barca will be able to go strongly even more better this season to competing in other trophies as well of course so he will be the one to take now total control in the department of sporting director um, but now he and um, Matteo Alemani they are still working hand in hand but as from September 2nd Matteo Alemani will be leaving Barcelona for good, as Barca themselves have confirmed in their official announcement. So, of course, we have seen Deco, you know, help Barca a lot in certain transfers, like the transfer for Rafinha last season, 
when he was still a football agent, he was Rafinha's agent and he helped facilitate the transfer. And when being Rafinha's agent at the time, he was still working under Barca. He was still representing Barca's official scout, scout in the South American market. And he helped Barca a lot to scout some young talents in the Brazilian or in the South American market for Barca. And I think it's not today that Deco started helping Barca to achieve their goals in transfers, especially from Brazil. But it has started ever since, you know, he has been there, he knows the club inside out. And I think that this role of sporting director will really suit him. I think he will do a marvelous job because even before being assuming or being officially crowned as the new sporting director, we have seen Deco help Barca in certain things, contribute in certain things, especially in this transfer window. And he has been working so hard to ensure that everything is on track. So we have um, less than two weeks for this transfer window to slam shut. Barcelona still have some, some way to go in order to make it successful, like strengthening the right back position. We haven't done that yet, but of course, we're getting some positive reports. Then also strengthening um, the left wing, since as Dembele is no more there, and so far is future is still uncertain. It is imperative for Barca to go for a left winger. As we have gotten players like um, Joe Felix, who is strongly linked to that position as well. So let's just see how the summer window will end for us. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. In what could be a threat to FC Barcelona and the, pers in, and the pursuit of signing a quality right back, journalist Paul Barros has reported via The Athletic that Cancelo has attracted strong interest now from Saudi Arabia. It is known that Cancelo is not wanted by Pep at Man City at all and it could be understood by the fact that he was, despite not even being injured, was not even um, was omitted completely from the squad that faced Sevilla in the UEFA Super Cup yesterday night. Now, although Barca have been his admirers for quite a long time, City have not been approached either by the Blaugrana or his agent George Mendes. So, given the current set of circumstances, it is believed that City are still firm with their intention of selling Joao Cancelo, but contrary to media reports, they are yet to receive an offer from Barcelona. As far as Barca are concerned, in spite of strong interest, dwindling finances have forced them to look for different ways to acquire the fullback. As reported before, the team from Catalonia is not really looking for um, a direct transfer, Instead, considering the difficulty to pay transfer fee for the player, they are preferring a loan with a buy option at the end of this season. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.